Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a legacy Windows 10 installation into UEFI. So as you can see this one is legacy and we are going to convert the installation. So if I click my Windows 10 disk right click properties volumes and we can see it's master boot record okay so we need to do a conversion open command prompt with administration permissions and now just follow so Right embed and tab slash convert space slash allow full OS and enter. okay so the conversion is completed we can see that now we have one more partition if I and if we right click again and go to volumes we can see that the drive now is GUID okay so now you need to change your computer BIOS to boot into UEFI So in my machine, this is a, a gigabyte motherboard, I need to press delete in order to assess BIOS. Ok, I'm going to change to classic mode, F2, and after that I have to go to BIOS features. And there I get to select which device will boot my computer so I have several disks this is an Akintosh and I have Mac OS I also have Linux so I, I have a lot of UEFI systems in my machine I don't need to change anything because there is no legacy boot so for me I will quit without saving for you if you are only booting for, from one hard drive and it is now UEFI, you need to change it, okay? So now I was pressing F12 during boot and I will select my Windows installation. If, well, if all went well, the computer will boot into Windows 10. Okay, it's working good. So now we will check if we have a UEFI installation. So from your keyboard, press Windows key and R and press MS Info 32 and then check your bias mode should be UEFI. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel for more tutorials. 